derive and apply gradient equals tan theta. So there are many different ways to find the gradient, but essentially they're all rise over run, and in this case it's no different. We're going to look at another way to find the gradient. Let's draw up our xy axis and put in a straight line. And let's say it goes through 1 and minus 1. So that'll be the equation y equals x minus 1. And we, know, we should know that the gradient of this line is equal to 1 because the gradient is whatever the coefficient of x is here. But let's look a bit closer. Let's construct a right angle triangle. Call this angle in here theta. And here we have the rise over the run. But we can also say that tan theta is our opposite side over our adjacent side. So tan theta would be the rise over the run. And we know rise over run is gradient, so we get tan theta equals m, our gradient. And this is a new equation we can use to find the gradient of a line, where the gradient of a line is going to equal to tan of the angle that it makes with the x-axis. So in this case, we have a we know a, when we have a gradient of one, we have a forty-five degree angle, and tan forty-five equals one. So that's another way to get the gradient there. What about something like this? where we have an x-intercept of minus 1 and a y-intercept of minus 1. And here we're going to get the equation y equals minus x minus 1. And we're going to consider this angle here. Let's draw up our all stations to central circle, where we know this is our base angle, this is 180 minus our base angle, they're the only two we're going to need. And when we go to find our gradient here, using our new formula m equals tan theta, here we have an angle that's bigger than 90 but less than 180, so it's going to fall in this second quadrant. And only sine is positive in that second quadrant, and we have tan. So we're going to get, we know we're going to get a negative value for our gradient, which makes sense because the line is sloping this way, and we know we have negative gradient when the line slopes this way. Here we know the gradient is negative 1 because it's at a 45 degree angle this way, which means we've got 135 degrees this way. So if we found tan of 135, that's the same thing as tan 180 minus 45, which lies in our second quadrant. That's why we used 180 minus 45. And tan is negative there. So we get negative tan 45, simplifying this with trig. And tan 45 is 1, so we get the gradient as negative 1 as expected because our coefficient of x is negative 1. Thank you.